Our next guest is a uh, talented actor starring in a, a new film opening in July 3rd entitled License to Wed. Please say hello to John Krasinski. John, welcome to the program. Thank Tell you us, very much. Uh, a, little, uh, a little bit about yourself, where you're from, your family, that kind of thing. All right. I, uh, I'm from Newton, Massachusetts. Mm -hmm. I, uh, nice. Yeah. Nice. <laughs> uh, I uh, am one of three brothers, and uh, I have a mother and a father. Mm -hmm. And uh, Were you the youngest of the three? I was. Yeah. I was the youngest of the three, which, uh, you know, I think it's a tough racket. Because not only do you get beat up the most, but I think that uh, you have a false sense of security. Because I think you think that anything that's been done has been done before by your brothers. Right. Or at least they convince you of that. Sure. Um, I remember one time we, we actually got these skateboards, which in Boston is not a big skateboarding town. So when we got them, we thought we were really cool. We just stood on them, mm -hmm. and we'd slowly roll. <laughs> we, forgot, we forgot the push-off part of it. Um, and uh, so that was fun for about 10 seconds. And then my brother said, you know, Skateboards come from surfboards, right. so why don't we try that out? Why don't we, uh, you know, get on our stomachs? Why don't you get on your stomach? <laughs> and I was like, okay, okay. And then he's like, I'm going to push you. And I went so fast that I was having a really good time because I thought I was surfing until my legs got tired and they slowly went down. <laughs> and then my knees hit the, uh, hit the, hit the old street there and uh, the jeans blow open and I start bleeding profusely. <laughs> And my dad was a doctor, so my brother must have learned this from him, but uh, he immediately says, I got it, takes off his shoes, socks, puts the dirty socks around both sure. my knees. Yeah, the old sock tourniquet, yeah, of course. Yeah, of course. <laughs> and uh, we actually lived near uh, a woodsy area, so he's running through the woods barefoot, <laughs> carrying me. <laughs> and when we get up to the porch, my mom said, what happened here? My brother said, we got it. <laughs> I took care of it. <laughs> he might need uh, two days bed rest, but he's good. He'll be good. <laughs> Kept him and, from bleeding yeah, I'm lucky they didn't have to amputate with the <laughs> yeah. infection from the, from the socks. Now, you, uh, you started your acting career not in Boston, but here, here in New York City. Yeah, here right? in New York yeah, as a of, professional what... waiter. That's where it all starts. Oh, good, sure. <laughs> yeah, yeah, get out there. That's the acting lesson. Uh -huh. um, and uh, that was fun. It was a good time. I, uh, there was actually uh, a bunch of different restaurants, but the quickest one that I was in was Five Days, wow. and it was uh, Blue Smoke, which is a really nice I, restaurant. Yeah, I think it was still it's around. Danny Meyer's more. restaurant. Sure. Yeah, yeah, so that's a that's pretty big deal. Mm -hmm. So I said... Well, there's where the money is. I'm going to make some money there. <laughs> so I go to the bar just thinking all I need is a black T-shirt and that'll be it. And um, <laughs> turns out that's not the case at all. Um, you were going to be the bartender? Yeah, I was going to be the bartender. Then did you know about bartending? Not at all. Yeah. No. I think I, I think I lied on my resume, too, which is pretty bad. But <laughs> they have this board of 100 drinks. And these drinks, uh, it's not like beer and wine and soda. Mm -hmm. It's like blue hurricane mist and <laughs> red devil face and like... <laughs> What? You know, and yeah, so exactly. And each of the drinks had so many ingredients that began with like, okay, what you need to do is you need to grind a grapefruit peel, <laughs> mix it with blood orange, then yeah. and you're like, I'm done. Yeah. I mean, really. <laughs> so I had I had no chance. So what I did was I started making greyhounds for everybody. Well, I don't know what a greyhound is. A greyhound is uh, grapefruit juice and vodka. Uh -huh. Bang. <laughs> what's, 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 what could be wrong with that? That's it. There you go. Yeah. That's all anybody wants. And so, uh, you know, so, so when you order the Blue Hurricane Mist, I'd put Blue Curacao in. <laughs> and put that in a twisty glass and send that down the bar. <laughs> and uh, after my five-day training period, I was feeling pretty good. Uh -huh. And um, the manager came over. She said, how do you feel? I said, uh, pretty good. She goes, yeah, you're not going to make it. So. Oh, oh. And I said, yeah, I know. And she said, we've had fun, but uh, this isn't going to work out. <laughs> and as she was firing me, no joke, at the bar, uh, this woman, this, like, older woman holds up one of the drinks and goes, this is delicious. I want another <laughs> one of these. <laughs> so. Exactly. Exactly. So who's, who's the big loser, really? That's right. That's they right. missed out. They missed out. <laughs> uh, tell me about the, uh, the film, uh, working with uh, Robin Williams. Oh, my God. It's just such a pleasure to work with him. He's, uh, he's the funniest man in the world, other mm -hmm. than you. Really? Uh, I'm number yeah. two? Yeah. Oh, my God. No, one. You're oh, one. Oh, I'm number yeah. one. Oh, yeah. my God. Yeah. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. Oh, my God. And in case you didn't know, I'm allowed to give that award out for Whoa. some reason. Oh, well, thank you yeah. very much. Jeez, yeah. Paul, I you're on the top ten, I think. Thank you, yeah. Whoa, how about that? Yeah. After the show, we're going down to the improv and work out. Let's do it. <laughs> Let's do a midnight set. We'll work out. Um, 
<laughs> yeah, you know, working, working with Robin, it's hard to keep a straight face, and everybody says, how do you do it? You just don't. Uh -huh. But uh, there's this one test that he puts us through in the movie. It's basically, uh, we're an engaged couple who want to get married, but he puts us through all these tests. He, he's so a clergyman. He, yes, he, he's a he, reverend. He, yeah, he's yeah. conducting a uh, some sort of a, a premarital. Exactly. Yeah. And he wants to make sure we know what we're getting into. So one of them is coming over to our house at like midnight. Uh, and asking what we like. Each partner should ask the other partner what they like in bed. Mm. Now, having Robin Williams dressed as a priest, asking you what you like in bed as an actor or a character is ludicrous. Right, it's wrong. <laughs> it's just so, wrong. It's just wrong. <laughs> and um, so my character doesn't want to play along. I, I'm, I'm not having it. And uh, Mandy's character, Mandy Moore, is... Uh, she starts playing along with him, and she's like, well, maybe, you know, on the beach. And Robin's like, well, what about in your parents' house while they're cooking? And, it's very odd. <laughs> and then they keep going back and forth, and the director let them improv. And I think Robin sort of slowly lost the character and just was having fun. And there was this one moment when Mandy said, I love it when you get creative. And Robin goes, I bet you do. <laughs> so I think I'm traumatized for life, because he's in a priest uniform going, I bet you do. Yeah, that's... To Mandy Moore. Something went haywire there, yeah. for sure. So they cut to me, and I was like, <laughs> Yeah, license to wed. Nice meeting you, John. So nice meeting you. Thank you very Thanks much for being here. John Krasinski, everybody. We'll be right back.